All right, in this video, we're gonna show you a very cool way to display your data using a process called projection mapping. The really only thing you need to be able to pull this off is a extra projector for your simulator. So if you're upgrading your old one or you wanna upgrade your old one, but still have a use for it, this is a great way to do so. You'll also be using a software uh, called OBS Studio. Um, it's a totally free software. It's normally used for screen capture, but we're gonna show you how to use it today um, for projector mapping. So we're gonna show you how to recreate the setup that we have right here, but you know, this will work with any software. We're using uh, the TrackMan software, but it'll work with GS Pro, and you can kind of cater to your software that you're using and your hitting mat in space. So first off, we're gonna, we already have OBS Studio open. You're gonna wanna download this. Like I said, it's free. So let's just start off from the beginning how we got to this point. So I'm going to create a brand new scene and we'll just call this um, projection mapping. And so we have nothing here. Um, the first step you're going to want to do is go down to the sources and we're going to click the plus sign and go to window capture. And then just for um, organization later, you'll just probably want to name these something. Um, we'll call this one data and click OK. So now um, you probably can't see it in the screen recording we have running right now, the OBS recording, but um, we've got uh, a bunch of different windows open um, on our computer. And this window selection allows you to choose which window you want to have recording. So we have a Chrome window, we have a uh, two TrackMan windows open. So we're gonna choose the driving range. And then capture method, you're gonna wanna go and choose Windows 10 and up. And then you'll click OK. So OBS, why, why it's showing up so big is our projector's uh, 4K display. Um, that's actually another point uh, you're gonna wanna take note of is that you'll want to have the exact displays that you're using. We actually tried to do this beforehand with the computer monitor on. Right now we just have two displays running, our projector and then our floor projector. If you run this, with your display running and then try to transfer it to your projector if they're not exactly the same aspect ratio and resolution um, everything will get out of whack and you'll have to redo it all over again so it's best to have the setup running exactly as you plan to have it with everything uh, running in its correct windows so first of all you can just resize this box um, so we'll get that kind of sized down a bit and then if you hold the Alt key, it'll allow you to crop that image. So we're just gonna crop this to our carry in total distance here. And then once we have that, we're not gonna be seeing anything on this Carl's Place display that you're seeing on the mat right now. Um, what you'll be seeing is um, well, you'll see blank or, or your desktop. Um, so, so how you're going to want to visual see this, um, on your hitting mat is you're going to want to go to your projector and mapping scene and right click and go to full screen projector scene. And then you have two options, your two displays. If you had more displays, you'll see other displays that is shining on the floor. So we're gonna click that one. And so now you'll see that it updates. And so wherever I move this in OBS Studio, you're gonna see on the floor here, it is also moving. And so we're just gonna resize this to match our mat. Cause I want it, I want a perfect match on our mat here. Just for a nice look. And so, just kind of play around with that. Um, to get really into it, you can use um, your arrow keys. Just by pressing an arrow key, that'll move it over one step. It's a good way to get real precise with it. Then we're gonna go in and, let's say I wanna add some more data points. 
Um, so I'll just go down to that window capture again. Uh, we'll just call this data two. Um, and then select Windows 10 again, and that's all looking good. So I'll click OK. And then I'm going to resize and hold down the Alt key, drag. Um, I want to see my spin rate and curve. Just resize using the Alt key. Drop that down. And then I'm going to put this right below. Just resize it a bit. So then you can also add a, I want to see the club impact replay. So club impact and change this again to Windows 10. Now, if you're using GS Pro software, we did a test of this earlier and we actually kind of preferred the look of the GS Pro impact data. We actually liked it better because it was static and um, we could sit it right over the top of the ball and um, it wasn't like super distracting and also just showed up brighter. But this is still very cool. Um, just not the best, just doesn't work out the best for projection mapping. Now we have our data points set up. I mean, you can really put anything you want to in here. You can do, um, like for example, I'm gonna do another window capture. If you wanna show like video on here from YouTube, I don't know exactly why you'd wanna do that, but you can do pretty much whatever you want. So for example, I want the Carl's Place logo to show. So what I did is I just opened a Chrome window, have that open in, in the background. Um, I'm gonna do capture method Windows 10 again, and I'll click okay. Oops, I hit cancel. Um, so we'll go back, go to Google Chrome, Windows 10, click okay. And then I'll just crop that down. So you can really customize this to look really sharp and be whatever you want it to be. So we can just pop it up top like that. There we have a pretty cool uh, custom setup for our hitting mat. And so yeah, right now this is looking pretty dull. Uh, like you really can't see on the mat these numbers super well. And we're not really getting a lot of benefit from having uh, the saturation in there. What we're gonna do is add a adjustment layer to all this. So over in your scenes tab, um, you'll click on your projection mapping and then you'll click this little icon here and that pulls up some effect filters. So we'll go to the plus sign and then you can find all these different filters down here. You'll probably be using the color correction the most is what I find that we use the most. Um, and then you can just adjust these settings by looking at your mat and saying, okay, I like how bright it is here or I want some more contrast. Uh, and just by playing around with these settings, you can kind of oop, you can kind of tweak what you're looking for. So yeah, let's take out the saturation. That already seems to help quite a bit. So yeah, just by adjusting those, you can really get a nice uh, look to your mat. And you can play around with this a lot more and, and dial it in. Um, but this is just a, a an example. So yeah, that's how you set up a projection mapping using OBS Studio. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.